Wow. He sent the Secretary of oh. State to check on me. Well, the President was busy, so... Yeah. On the CBS series Madam Secretary, Tim Daly plays a professor turned intelligence operative and the husband to Taya Leone's Secretary of State. What do you say? You up for helping to capture the most wanted terrorist on the planet? Yeah. I'm in. A role Daly says he likes because his character is honest, funny, and above all, not subservient. When I tell you I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it. I'm going back to bed. I have guys come up to me all the time and say, thank God you are playing a competent man. Thank you for being someone who's, you know, strong and can, you know, fix stuff and, and where the house doesn't burn down if his wife goes away. Did you call Jane Fellows? I did. I support your decision. No, you don't. It's a complex character, and one that suits this veteran actor from a family of actors. Well, my mother, my father, my sister, me, my sister's daughter. Tim's father, James, co-starred in the 1970s series Medical Center. His mother, Hope, was a respected stage actress. And big sis, Tyne Daly? She won fame playing Lacey in Cagney and Lacey. It was only natural then that Tim's first TV role in 1966 at age 10 was a family affair, a job with his dad in a production of An Enemy of the People. They called you a traitor, an enemy of the people. I had no idea what I was doing. You can see me looking right into the camera. Uh, and they apparently didn't have enough money or something to edit me out, but I just... Uh, he says growing up in an acting family definitely shaped his outlook. When you're in the, in the third grade play, most of the time your parents or grandparents are squeezing your cheeks and saying, oh, you were so cute, you were adorable, I loved you, I loved you. And in you. your family. And for me, I got notes, right? It was like, listen, if you hold that line until you walk down stage, you're going to get a laugh. Daly's real career began in theater, but his big break came when he snagged a key role in the classic buddy film, Diner. You in, Billy? No, I'm not in. Where he joined a few other unknowns, including Mickey Rourke and Kevin Bacon. I mean, it was the beginning of a lot of people's careers. It was terrifying for me because I didn't know anything about film. But that didn't stop him from becoming a major success in the 1990s television series, Wings. A little bit. You need to be a little bit more spontaneous. Hey, I like spontaneity as much as the next guy. I just need a little warning so it doesn't come completely out of nowhere. Did Wings get the recognition that you felt it deserved? As I run into it now, when I'm flipping channels late at night, I watch it and I think, this show is freaking hilarious. We've got to stop this right now before it goes any further. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> all the ink and all the attention and all the adulation went to Seinfeld and Cheers and Friends and all these other shows, so we sort of felt like the red-headed stepchild. I'm going straight to Elizabeth. We've got to stop that shit. A stepchild, Madam Secretary definitely is not. You want to go fool around on the couch till it dings? Affirmative. And that on-screen marriage has also led to an off-screen romance with his co-star. Do you get tired of the questions about your relationship with Taya Leone? Well, I don't get asked that often. Um, I think because people are scared. But <laughs> yes, I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs> People have been scared. But all, this is the thing. My romantic successes and failures, which there have been some of both, are private. And I would like um, you and whoever else out there cares to just be really happy for me. He's not only uncomfortable with these questions, he says he can also be uncomfortable around others. Meeting you in person, you don't seem shy, but you've said that you are very shy. I'm very shy. Um, I deal with it by being an actor, by putting myself in public. But it, inside, uh, I am shy. <laughs> and I feel um, sort of embarrassed <laughs> about myself, I guess. Embarrassed about it? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, you know, we all feel, have feelings of inadequacy. And I struggle with that. 
Daly says acting has helped him through his other personal struggles as well. He battled alcoholism in his 20s, remaining sober ever since. And although his parents divorced when he was nine, there was one secret he found out about years later that still affects him. My dad left when I was a very young man and a young boy, and I didn't see him very much. You know, my parents had a long and difficult marriage, mostly because my father was gay. Um, not many people know this, but um, given the wisdom of that era, the medical, psychological, and societal wisdom of that time, which was all false, being homosexual was a disease, right, that could be cured. My father worked very hard to try to cure himself of something that was incurable, and so did my mom. And it was very sad. So when he left, um, my parents made a mutual decision based on all this false information that they would limit my exposure to my father so that I would not contract this disease. And um, it, was, it was a tragedy as I look back on it because my father had the means and, and the desire to see me and I loved him desperately and I saw him maybe a couple of weeks a year. It wasn't until he was 19, Daly says, that his father told him the truth. And just two years later... We were about to do a play together uh, a summer stock tour and my father died on the day we were going to begin rehearsals so it felt like this momentous point in my life where I was about to really get to know him as a man and the universe intervened and there was this moment where the torch was passed and I was now the man um, so uh, you know, I was sort of robbed of that, of the opportunity to really get to know my dad. So I bet with your own son that it's been really important to you to be close to him. Oh, gosh. I mean, both my kids. He's a wonderful dad. Yeah. He's always been extremely supportive of both of us. Mm -hmm. he's, he's loving. He's present. And so involved with his kids, Sam and Emmeline, also actors, that he and his son even have a web series together called, what else? The Daily Show. Oh, Daily Show's a reality show. <laughs> it's just, that's just real life. I want to talk to the Tim Daly that is my special sauce. Should I leave? We have an inordinate amount of fun. We laugh like maniacs, and it's this bizarre alternate universe version of our own life. We are dailies. We are a family dynasty, a dynasty of actors, generations. We're like a line of cobblers stretching back into history. You know, my, my only heartbreak about the show is that we haven't had Emmeline on yet. I know. Yeah, so when's uh, that gonna That'll, change soon, That'll change soon. Yeah. That'll change soon. That'll change soon. Yet another role for That's Tim so Daly. Happy. And which one is his favorite? If there's anything I want to be known for, it's uh, hopefully for being a good dad to my kids, because there's nothing more important to me.